So we came and we saw a sign that says, keep door closed at all times. And I was like, I'm not opening that. And then this guy was like, I'm just gonna open it anyways. And he did. Look around, there's nowhere else to go. And he did and nothing happened. So I guess our Airbnb is that way. So let's go check this thing out. Hopefully it's as good as in the picture or else your girl is raising hell and going there and coming back. Cause there it is guys first of all the door is giving i like the door it's a big strong door that i feel like can protect me the door alone is giving it's giving big and strong it's giving and samsung. it's samsung look at that oh that's good it should be google but you know that's all right this is, but doesn't the door look like it could protect us yeah. yeah. Ready? Ready? I'm gonna take you inside now. We haven't been here yet. I mean, our bags are right there. Yep, bags are right there, guys. You're getting the first view with us. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Look at this, guys. It is super, 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 super nice in here. It's a nice little studio unit. And what can I say? I cannot complain about anything. This is how you do a studio. This is how you do a studio, guys. What must say? This is exactly how you do a studio, guys. Look at that. Studio wear. It's a bathroom. You want to tell them how much a night this is? Do you want to tell them how much at night this Don't go in that bed with your dirty plain clothes. You know we didn't shower for two days now. True. Definitely. We paid for this place for We paid $234 US. Which in came total. Out, it was about $50 a night plus there's like cleaning fee. Cleaning fee is $10 and service fee is $29. So $234.86 for four nights here. Look at this place. It's well put together, it smells good, it looks clean, and it's so big, like it's huge. Can you believe this is a studio, bro? Bro. Well, I mean, we still live in one, but it didn't look it like It didn't it. look like this. This was not our studio. Our studio didn't look like this. This, this is... The guys, bathroom let me, let me, is back here. Let me just say something. I am usually a very calm person, but like this is freaking awesome because like after traveling this hard for this long, I think we deserve a little bit of this like, it's not even like by Malaysian this standards, luxury. this is not luxury by their standards. It, it isn't, but... But this is good. This is really nice. The Honestly, everything has been great so far and like, I'm glad that after all this traveling, Back and forth. we came to a place that I think we're gonna actually and enjoy. I am super glad we chose this Airbnb. You remember how conflicted we were? Yeah. Bro, to good decisions. Yeah. And a good trip. And the shower. Yeah, and our battery is dying. So see you guys later. All right, guys. So after a well-deserved and much-needed shower, oh. um, two days worth of dirt. Apparently, I'm not tan anymore. But I uh, brushed my teeth twice. I brushed my teeth twice because I haven't brushed in two days because we've been traveling for that long. But anyways, I came over here and I was like, oh, let me just jump on the bed, you know, because. We're so tired. So I went like this, and I realized that the bed doesn't bounce. Like, <laughs> there's no bounce. Then I was like, I was like this, bruh, the thing doesn't move. So I told Simon, this, this is just crazy. We're gonna have whiplash tonight. All right, quick but question. But it is clean, which I am very, very, very happy about. Alright guys, so it is a new day. As you can see by the outfit, we're actually not going to be staying in this room for much longer because we need to show you the rest of the amenities in this building. One of them is actually to hit the gym because we are desperately behind times on gym. And there's also a couple of other nice things like a nice roof view, um, there is a pool. We don't even know actually, we haven't seen anything yet, but we do know that we have to hit the gym. And on the way to actually doing that, we're going to show you guys what the rest of the building looks like. Alright guys, so this is one of the main reasons why I actually really wanted to come to this place. 
And because in Malaysia, this is like a normal thing. When you have a building, there's like a pool, a gym, and a lot of like inside outside living because the climate is actually made for that. So um, there, there is like, I don't know, a lot of really nice things in this building, a lot of amenities, and it just makes me feel good because we want to be outside. So Yeah, do you want to go sit on that bed over there? Don't run. Don't run. Ah, it looks kind of dirty, though. Um, it's pretty cool out here, I think. Yeah. How they did the pool. And there's and more stuff. like, you? the plants, how they, like, mm -hmm. like, they're going up like that. Yeah, it's like they separate, like, a natural wall. Kind and of. there's, like, a little playground back here. Back there. I you want to go? I think that's for the future. That's for the future? Rooftop area is, it seems pretty cool. There's a pool, there's a little playground. The gym is like right up there. There is, I don't know, you have almost everything that you could need. So if you live in Malaysia in a complex like this, you really don't have to go outside other than to buy groceries and also to like see your friends and stuff like that. So we are and definitely, work. don't worry about the toothpaste on my shirt, you know. <laughs> We're definitely thinking, hmm, Malaysia might be on our list of places to live. And we looked around like rental prices, a building like this will cost you like, let's say $1,500 a month, maybe if that much or fit between 1,000 to 1,500 US a month for like a one bedroom. So, what, what are we doing again? <laughs> Okay, guys, so you might be wondering why Malaysia out of all places in the world and we so ended up random. here. Yeah. I don't think it's actually random. I think it was a very calculated decision that we made. Uh, when we decided to go to Asia, we then honed in on Southeast Asia and then we're like, okay, what is going to be the least like shock value um, effect of like us transitioning into Malaysia? And we started with KL for a reason because it's a very developed area and there's a lot of diversity here. So we decided to come here and try staying here for a little bit of a, well not so much an extended time, but we wanted to stay here for as long as we could in a fairly short trip. Mm -hmm. um, and we basically wanted to experience what life would be like if we were to truly live here rather than stay like shacked up in a hotel somewhere. Yeah. We really wanted to like immerse ourselves and like wander around and kind of like feel out what it would be like for us to like hang out in the streets and eat the food and like stay here and like drive here and do all these things. Yeah. Um, what's the verdict for you so far? For me, I like this area that we are in. So we're currently staying in an area called Chukit and um, it is pretty busy here and it is somewhat reminiscent of the life that we're used to in New York, but it's probably even busier than where we currently live right now. Right. But also the amenities that the buildings have to offer, the accessibility to food and like just something to do in general makes it like so much like of a place that we'd like to stay especially like right now we're looking out and the train is passing by but you cannot hear it so that's also another good thing everything is just right at your fingertips and we are definitely used to a kind of life where things are like right at your fingertips look you're glowing in the sun now. i know my complexion but when i'm here my complexion is just like it's giving it's giving yeah listen so i think that one of the main reasons like there are so many different parts of the world where we want to travel to and experience but we picked here specifically because of the combination of the things I already mentioned and the climate. Alright guys, so one of the main reasons why we picked here, other than all the stuff that I already mentioned, is actually the climate. So me, being from a pretty cold place and still living in a pretty cold place, I actually really appreciate the warmth and hotness like some people do. Um, sometimes it's now too, you do. Sometimes it's too much, right? No, no lie, like during the day the sun is really hot and it's humid and it's like if it's you like a rainforest, like the, the rain will randomly come down and then yeah. the sun comes back out. It's just like, it's unpredictable weather, which I'm very familiar with, but he's not. Yeah. So We were just talking about it, like the reason that I would watch the weather channel is to know what to wear for the day. But for you guys, it doesn't matter because like if it rains, it rains, it's still hot. It doesn't make a difference. Yeah. Um, but it's it's an honestly a very good experience so far, I think. Yeah. I would definitely spend an extended amount of time here. At least I a month or two. I have one thing to say. Go for it. So since we've been here in Malaysia, I 
must say that I have never had a day where I felt unsafe or uncertain that like something bad might happen to me. I think the country seems very very safe and like even our Airbnb their security guards and the security guards are so chill like we've been to Mexico we've been to Jamaica we've been to like so many different places where the security guards just give you this like really serious and stern vibe which yeah that's where they're supposed that's what they're supposed to do but here like I feel like they don't have that much to be that serious about and then it makes everything so much more calmer and peaceful so I really appreciate that as well I have one more thing to add why Malaysia is actually a great choice uh, I think for us and for a lot of other people that might be watching us uh, Malaysia is not an English speaking country but in Malaysia everybody speaks English like we literally encountered maybe like one or two people that spoke very limited English um, which is understandable because we were like in a heavily like ethnic I guess area or whatever you want to call it but there is no problem at all to get by in English like the signs won't be in English but the language a lot of people will just simply speak it and that's like when you have different ethnic groups that come together that's like the unofficial like way that people get by so yeah. that, that is not a problem I can't believe it's empty I'm so happy it's empty so gonna get our workout in there's weights for you to lift my dear so you have no excuses and I'm gonna see what I can do here this is what we needed an empty gym to an ourselves to our gym back home. Oh, uh, no, I don't want to hear. The gym back home, wasn't it? Our gym back home costs more a month than it does for us to stay, stay here. here? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's another thing guys. So Malaysia is a great place to stay if you are looking for budget traveling. So the food is um, very affordable. Uh, the stays are very affordable. What else? Car what rentals. Else do people look for? Car rentals are Which you don't even need really. And you, just, you don't necessarily need it because the city is so mobile. Their transportation means like the train is right outside our door. So yeah, come to Malaysia guys. That's all I can say. <laughs>